First, the receiver has to be given the authority and the financial support to do what a top educator needs to do in any school district, and in particular in Harrisburg. Second, uh, the receiver has to have a long-term commitment of, in my opinion, at least 10 years. And uh, in order to build a culture within the school district that will support the learning for the kids and the staff. And third, there needs to be uh, an understanding on the part of the community <clears throat> that the political levers need to stop and that the way to communicate about the school district needs to be to the superintendent, in this case the receiver, not through politicians. And that therefore the receiver needs to set up a communication system as we did with Julie Botel and others for parents and community members and organizations to work with the school district to come in and talk about their kids and their schools and to feel supported by the school system so that we provide that support, particularly with the additional resources that are going to be necessary to do what's needed for the Harrisburg schools to, to succeed. What I would not do um, I would not allow the political process to interfere. As nice as it sounds to have an elected board that is positive, and I think this elected board is very positive, at some point they're going to be unelected. And at that point, the school district could easily go back. So that you really have to structurally protect against that since it is constitutionally the responsibility of the state of Pennsylvania to provide education for every school district in Pennsylvania, including Harrisburg. Not the local elected board, it's the state's responsibility, which is why the governor and the secretary of education have the right to provide for a receiver and take over the Harrisburg school district. Um, so secondly, I would not raise expectations too high to begin with. There's been a lot that has changed since 10 years ago. Buildings have been closed. Huge numbers of excellent teachers and administrators have left or been terminated employment from the school district. It's going to take a long time to figure out what needs to be done and to build up the school district again. So those expectations have to be understood um, as lower than what they were when we started when you know, there wasn't a previously successful um, administration with uh, the mayoralty take over the district where we had SciTech High and the preschool program and a lot of other successes. And third, um, I would not let people think that um, firing or, you know, doing things to people in the school district is going to solve problems. It's not. You've got to bring everybody in and include them in the decision-making process. I mean, you're going to need a charismatic leader in that school district, in any school district, particularly in Harrisburg, who communicates that message of hope for the kids, the adults, and the city. 